Okay, here's the thing. Minecraft is an extraordinary game. This is not up for any kind of debate because it changed the gaming world 10 years ago. It was a phenomenon. But I was thinking, what made this game so good? Why was it so popular? And why are people saying that it's not as good as it used to be? Well, I think the problem is the phenomenon wasn't about the game, but everything around it. So let's go back in time to about September 2010 and look at the game then. Why September 2010? Because that's when I made my account and started playing it. Let's see, unnerfed fire, eating was instantly done, machine gun arrows, and oh my god, all that neon grass. The ground glows more than Fallout 4's Children of the Atom. And the nether has not been made yet. Diamond armor is the end game. And 2B2T actually had land at its spawn. So why do people say it was good at this time despite being so limited? Well, I would say that it's good because it is this limited and because of the non-stop updates by Notch. In fact, the Nether would be made just weeks from now during the Halloween update. Which brings me to my first point on why us old fogies talk about the good old days. As Minecraft was still being made, it was constantly updated. Not an update every six months to two years, which only made the water slightly more interesting, yet completely ignored the fact that boats are still literally just little rowboats and you do not get any kind of proper sailing vessels, despite the fact that oceans are thousands of blocks long. No, there were updates every week showing off new ideas, both from Notch and suggested by the community. A lot of it worked and has stayed until the game today even if it not all of them aged very well. Others didn't, because the idea alone was just fun to play with while it lasted, but it didn't work into the main part of the game. And then there was the fact that this game was unique because it was not a completely self-reliant game. In those days, there was no recipe book, so if you forgot how to make something, you had to look it up on the wiki. The idea of jumping out of the game and back in to keep going became part of the charm of Minecraft, especially since when you looked up the recipe, you might also pop into some forums and discuss what you're doing to other players or pull up a YouTube video and listen or watch to see how someone else was doing it. The entire fact that nobody knew what they were doing also added to the fun. The main guy I watched was X plays in his X cave. He taught me the basics of the game, punching wood, building the base, actually learning how the very, very basics of the game went when I was still the noob. And then I nearly crapped myself out of fear when creepers loomed over me and blew up everything I was doing because they were also not nerfed and were very destructive. There was a reason creepers came to be feared. Not like we have to worry about that much anymore unless you're building a dirt house. And then you had groups like Yogcast, who started off with a tutorial series like X-Plays, and then it changed partway through, turning into a story-driven role-playing session with thousands of viewers, which eventually grew to be millions of fans over the years. Then you have some of the mega stars of YouTube now, who had their humble origins from playing the game, like Captain Sparkles and Markiplier. It was a time of growth, change and fun, which had been dampened a lot in today's version of the game. While we do have a lot of fun playing it, there's very little growth and change since the game was officially released. Needless to say, there's not much to change since it was, as I said, officially released. Community suggestions are not heard nearly as much to the point where the main things that change are bugs and long overlooked aspects, like the water, for instance. And the updates to these changes are so far and few between that the hype for it has died long before it ever comes to see light. And the openness of the game is semi-lost, as there is an end to the game. Literally, the end. You can explore it, but after the dragon and jumping into the fountain, there's the credits. I know many players who stopped playing because they felt at this point it was just over. Minecraft had officially ended. The rest of the game is what you make of it as it originally was, but there's a different feeling afterward. You've already explored all there is to the game, so now there was nothing new to find. The old world generation had even changed to the point of being a lot more tame, so lots of the giant overhanging cliffs were mostly a thing of the past. Many landmarks that a lot of people love to find just 
don't seem to happen much anymore, and if they do, again, it's very far and few between. So is Minecraft less for adding so much to the game and becoming more refined? <laughs> Not at all, but it became more of a game and less of an event. Each update from Notch was an event. Each new video by the community was another event. And after the re release, the events slowed to a halt because of the everyday humdrum of Let's Plays and videos and other things like that. Mods have kept the game alive pretty well, but even now the buzz for a lot of the brand new ideas have also died down. Magic mods are already magic mods. Tech mods have been around forever. And we even have the story mode, which is basically redoing what Yogg's cast did. All in all, I do love the game, and it's one of my favorite default games to go to and play when I'm bored. But in the end, I just kind of miss the old days of experimentation and change. I keep that feeling slightly alive by playing new and different kinds of mods every few months, at least when they finally update to the newest version. Which, to be fair, my current favorite one is called Mine Colonies, which you get to build yourself a village with a lot of working villagers. A lot like the Millionaire one, only in English. So don't think that I'm hating on the game, but I'm just trying to bring to light why some people say the older version of Minecraft was better than it is today. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and hope you'll stay for my next rant. Peace out.